Hello again and welcome. Uh, again, I want to apologize for the sound quality. We'll be working on getting that fixed. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I wanted to just do another update to the person algo optimizer. We've been focused on crude oil this whole week, and it's just because it's working so well, it's not predictable, but it has given some tremendous trade um, signals and results, and that's the key results, right? So let's take a look at some of the, the signals and what we've uh, accomplished in the last couple of days. The prior video, we talked about how the market, where we skipped the um, energy information agency report volatility. And that really, I don't care who you are, would have given a false breakout, a false breakdown. What we did is we were waiting for a breakout above the last additional change. And this is where we got out of half the position and it trailed the stop on the balance and we liquidated. And that was per the last um, video update that we shared with you. A Saudi oil minister came out and I know we had a couple people in the trade room go, oh my God, look at crude oil, fell out of bed. Yes, it did. It fell out of bed uh, simultaneously as President Trump was giving a, um, I, I guess, a press conference in the Oval Office. Uh, but it, more importantly, it was an Audi, so it was a Saudi oil minister who made a comment, and that caused the market to break down. Uh, we talked about this, and you can go back and look at these videos or look for yourself. Since Monday and Tuesday, it seems it is a very prominent time frame for the funds to step in and buy between 1 and 2 o'clock. We've gotten some great breakout signals both Monday and Tuesday right at that 1, 2 o'clock time period. This is exactly what we shared with the trading room before we uh, stepped out for lunch. We had a great trade set up here, which we alerted you guys to. And now I want to focus in on the new trade that occurred on a high closed doji because it says high closed doji here. It's in the two contracts. What does it do? It takes the profit. It trails the stop, which is the orange bar. And now you can see was long to got out of one. And it's currently still long a contract, and this will be the new stop trailing feature. Uh, this particular trade is up almost $800, just the one lot. The one trade alone is up nearly $800. Quite a, a wonderful way of trading the market. The trailing stop feature is kicked into high gear right now. So it's either going to go higher or trail this thing and keep going, or it'll stop out that one lot, or... The other function is, and this is pretty neat about this product, max trade bars. There's so many bars that would allow it to hang out. And like earlier today, it got out of half the profit at the profit target, and it kept trailing the stop on these runaway moves, and then it maxed out right before what? The end of the, the, the market went into a period of choppiness. We got a nice setup here. It went long again. It went long again, and now currently still long. So this is the function of the person algo optimizer to help us select trades and two things have occurred with this latest update or upgrade as we like to call it first and foremost the functionality just so that you can see we are still using algo 16 haven't changed back so it's the same one but this is on the scale out ratio of half again you have three functions one function is don't take the, the trade out entirely at the profit. Just let the whole thing trail a stop. And two, get out of half and trail the stop on the balance. Or three, just get out of the entire position at the calculated profit target. And each profit is, uh, as you can see, uh, from the entry to the blue, uh, each one is, is calculated differently on the algorithms that have been created. So this provides individual traders a wonderful way of doing what they may not be able to do for themselves. Trail a stop functionality as well as move stops up at, you know, on a, a discretionary basis. So it takes the guesswork out and it allows you to do it for yourself while you can also input some discretion behind the market. And discretion meaning, do you like the trade? Should you still be long? Look at this. This is of the on balance volume indicator and this is my momentum volume indicator which is I keep sharing with you a part of the John Person lifetime package on TradeStation. Big difference in what it looks like here as far as the momentum behind the volume it started to increase showing some positive change that there was some volume coming in you can see the histogram while red each consecutive low is getting higher 
and that shows a momentum shift that there's accumulation starting in the market. As the, start, as the price starts to break out, we note that we have these last conditional change white lines. It won't break down. And you can see, we see positive momentum building in the volume. On balance volume doesn't even show increase in volume until right here. So therefore, it doesn't give sometimes a true sense of volume accumulation. So when I say that you can have a little discretionary input, do I like that trade? I don't know if I like a trade or not, but I can certainly see that when we get an increase in momentum of the market, at least from a volume perspective, take a look what I'm referring to. Here's the market facing out. Look at the red line getting better and look at the uh, when the market gen generates that high closed OG, you can clearly see it's on an improved increase in volume. On balance, volume doesn't even show the market started to accumulate until almost well after you're out of half your trade, right? So there is an advantage to the new indicators that we've created here with TradeStation. We didn't invent volume. We just created an indicator that detects volume changes a slight in a different perspective. Anyway, this is where we currently stand. What's ironic and I wanted to finalize with you guys is that in the live trading room that we have here at Person's Planet, we also alerted to, from our observations that, and you can go back and look at this yourself, both Monday and Tuesday, somewhere around between uh, 1 and 2 o'clock, that's when we've seen the funds come in and push the market up. And every time it's been either after a downtrend in crude oil, 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, after maybe retail traders have been pushed around and punished a bit, then the institutions and the hedge funds come in and start bidding the market up. And that's been between 1 and 2 o'clock. We alerted our trading room to that, and sure enough, same thing happened again today. So uh, right before 1 o'clock is when that buy signal uh, recovery uh, mode kicked into gear for crude oil. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to say for those that are trading without this product, uh, you know, this can be available to you. We have trained a very few select groups of people. This is not mass marketed. And if you're interested in learning more about this, I definitely would recommend that you go to our website. And, and if you're watching the YouTube channel and then on our home site, you will see and I'll get to that where it says Algo Optimizer under Persons Indicators. Just click on Algo Optimizer and you can read more about this phenomenal product. It's amazing. I thank you for your time. And again, we're working on the volume issues and as well as the quality for these videos. My main goal is to get the information out to you as soon as possible while it's happening so that you can maybe follow along see, uh, with the, uh, the, what the developments are with these trades. First and foremost, you can see this white line in the sand. By the way, I'll leave you with this. The market will stop out. Here's a white line in the sand. Market closes below it, and there you can see it stops out. So it's either going to get max barred out. In other words, the holding period only lasts so many bars, or it's going to trail the stop function and kick this trade out with a, a, a locked profit. Thanks again, gang, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Thank you.